Hello everybody, General Discord here, and welcome to a brand new series. As you can see down over here in the lower left, we've got a bunch of mods loaded here. That's because this is Feed the Beast. And not just any Feed the Beast, this is Lapitos, or Laquitos, Laquintas, Lapitos, uh, Feed the Beast Galacticraft Mod Pack. That's right, we're going to the moon. We are going to the moon. Very exciting, very exciting. I've only been playing around with this a little bit. I haven't gotten any further than gathering a bunch of iron uh, to go to the moon. So basically, uh, we're going to be starting fresh here. So let's go ahead and create a new world. This is Lunar. Lunar Quest. That is the name of this world. We are going to put the cheats on so I can fly around if I need to uh, to videotape stuff. I certainly hope that'll be something I can do at some point. Maybe fly around on the moon. Who knows? Um, I don't think we need anything else here. Let's create the new world. Let's load it in. Let's see how it is. I'm rubbing my hands together because I am both excited and cold. It's very chilly where I am. So this is going to be the goal of the series. We are going to the moon. And as the uh, hopefully the mod pack updates, we will be going to maybe other planets. I have the uh, 1.5.2 version. Oh, look at this. A snowy biome. I spawned in a snowy biome in the last world, too. Great. Let's set our waypoint here, which is... Not that button. Not that button. There it is. And we want to just do this as spawn, because I like to mark my waypoints in the world to let me know where I've been. Okay, so one important thing about this mod pack is you need a lot of resources for it. And to get those resources, you got to do a lot of work. So we've got lots of work ahead of us here in this mod pack. Uh, this first episode isn't going to be much beyond me making a basic shelter and gathering a little bit of supplies. It's going to be, you know, one of the typical starting episodes for any sort of series. So you got that to look forward to. But there's definitely some cool mod packs on here. Or some mods in this pack, I should say. Let me get that. I want the rest of this wood here in this tree. I am a good citizen. I always chop down the trees entirely. Because otherwise I would be a bad person. People who leave floating trees are bad people. Just saying. <laughs> so it looks like we got some animals here. That's good. Gonna need to make our supplies real quick here. Because we got it on normal difficulty. I'm gonna need some food. So anyway, you can see the uh, user interface is a little bit different here. I'm facing just straight on. And you've got these slots for various uh, oxygen and protection stuff. And also a slot for a parachute. And we're going to need all that. Fortunately, we are here in Minecraft 1.5, so I can go like this. Woo! Very exciting. Very exciting. I love it a lot. Now, I want to make a quick wooden sword so I can get some food from these aminals. It's time to strike. So the, uh, the goal here in the series is not only we are going to go to the moon, hopefully at some point we'll be able to go to other planets as well, but... Uh, after that point, um, we want to make a base on the moon. We want to make ourselves a moon base of some sort. Haven't decided how that's going to go yet, but uh, that's that's quite a ways down the line. I'm going to gather these pumpkins too, because, hey, pumpkins. Free pumpkins at that. Uh, so the plan is to go to the moon, and then to build a base there, and to do exploring. There's all sorts of uh, things to do on the moon. Well, maybe not all sorts. There's moon dungeons. Moon Dungeons, a Moon Jin, I suppose you could call it, if you wanted to be a weird person. There are advanced mobs on the moon. They wear spacesuits, and they move very slowly, but they're still extremely dangerous. Uh, for those of you who watch Good Boulderfist, uh, this is sort of the same idea that he was doing. He was just doing Galactic Craft and Choco Craft, I believe. Uh, but he went to the moon and fought, you know, stuff on the moon as well. So you can check his videos for maybe a preview of what's going to be happening in this series. But, like I said, the uh, beginning stages right here is all very resource intensive. So 
the next episode that I do is going to be an episode about me showing you all the things that I mined. Because I'm going to be doing a lot of mining. A lot of a lot of mining between now and the next episode. This is just kind of a spur of the moment thing. I'm recording this on a Saturday. Saturday afternoon. Enjoying my weekend off. And decided, you know what? Let's do a new series. Let's have some fun with this. Because this looks like a, uh, a very fun mod pack right here. It's got some cool little features to it. Which I will show you momentarily. I just need to get a little bit more of this stuff going. Okay. Let's make ourselves a furnace quickly here. That's not how you make a furnace. There we go. But I also want to make some more and better tools. Uh, we need an axe because I have something to show you with this axe. Boy, oh boy, do I have something to show you with this axe. Oh, -ho. it's probably my favorite part of the mod pack that I'll be showing you in a moment here. As soon as I move my hands cor correctly. Okay, so let me show you this. There is a mod in this pack called Tree Feller. I think that's what it's called, or it's either, either that or Lumberjack. But anyways, this is what it does. Attack the bottom log of a tree. Poof! Tree is gone. Oh man, do I love this mod. Oh man, do I love this mod. So great. Gets you all the saplings the tree would drop to. Uh, like, apple trees would drop apples. So, it's pretty useful. Not gonna lie, pretty darn useful. Um, I'm currently on the lookout. Oh, here's a ravine. That's good. We need ravines and caves and such. So allow me to waypoint this. Oh, it's a double ravine. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Let me waypoint that real quick here. Add double ravine. And we're going to make that one... Kind of purple. Or pink, I guess. Exit. Double ravine. Uh, what I'm looking for right now mostly is sheep. I would like to be able to make a bed. I hear some zombies underground there. Yeah, I'd like to be able to make a bed. I want to sleep through the night. Establish a base of some sort. Don't want to go too far away. If I can't make a bed, that's fine. I'll just uh, dig into the ground and... Uh, do it that way, but I would like to find some sheepies. Some sheepy sheepies. So let's see if we can find some here real quick. So any suggestions you guys may have uh, in terms of uh, other things I should do in terms of uh, going to or doing when I am at the moon, uh, please feel free to name those in the comments. Uh, this will be an ongoing series. I'm going to shoot for one episode a week. Uh, not going to promise any more than that because this is uh, a series, at least at first, that requires a lot of uh, a lot of grinding time, you know? Got to grind a whole lot for this sort of thing just to get all of the uh, necessary ingredients for your spaceships uh, because they take a ton of iron, like a ton of iron, like so much iron. I don't know. I don't know how much iron it is, but it's a lot of iron. And you know me, I love my iron, but this is going to take a lot of it. So I see lots of pigs, no sheeps, no sheepies. Another thing we have to be on the lookout for is oil. We need some oil. Oil is going to be extremely critical in terms of being able to go to the moon because you need oil to convert to rocket fuel. So I'm going to be doing a lot of exploring. I'm going to be doing a lot of mining uh, between this episode and the next one. Oh, I love this Lumberjack mod, whatever it's called. I love it. <laughs> I don't love the fact that I've been uh, spawned in a snow biome two times in a row. But hey, there's some sheeps here. And one thing that seems uh, that seemed to me, at least the first time I was playing, was that uh, uh, that the night seemed to last a lot longer. Like a really long time, the night seemed to last. It was kind of kind of frightening a little bit <laughs> so I don't know if that's a uh, I don't know if that's a real thing or not but uh, maybe I just imagined it but nights seem to last a very long time maybe that's intentional I sure don't know but this is a good spot right here I don't want to really build in the snowy biome just because there's uh, 
limited chance of finding any uh, oil. And like I said, we need a bunch of oil for this. Give me that. Give me that. Thank you. Hi. Bye. Kill some more of these piggies here. Uh, tell you what, guys. I'm going to wander around a little bit here. I'm going to try and find a different biome. And I'll bring you guys back in when we got a suitable candidate. So I'll see you guys in a bit. So I haven't found a suitable spot just yet. I haven't gone very far. But I just want to show you guys this because it's still cool. Boom. Make it rain. Make it rain. Alright, here we go. Here's something a little bit different at least. We got some desert coming up here. Yeah, we got some desert. That's good. It's real good. Oh, now the snow, finally. I uh, stopped for a minute, cooked myself some food, took a quick sleep. We're continuing on. Still searching for a home. Or searching for somewhere relatively uh, decent to build. Now, I know you would think that, uh, you know, you, you're not too busy. You're not too worried about building, are you, Discord? I mean, you're trying to go to the moon. Any old place that has iron will do, right? Well, no. No, 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 citizen. It won't do. Not just any place. It has to be the right place. You know? It's got to be a place that has uh, has uh, abundant supplies of sorts. A uh, place where I can uh, get some uh, good stuff. And a place that I like. Whether I like the look of it or not. Well, I'd, I'd have to like the look of it, I suppose. Uh, there's some lava up here. This is going to be necessary. I think we're coming up to the place we want to build because there's a jungle right here. Let me go ahead and leave a waypoint. Add lava. Lava is red. Cancel back. Exit. And we got a jungle up here. Jungle is good for uh, all sorts of uh, wood, wood supplies, and animals as well. May build the jungle. I want to look around this desert a little bit here, see if we can find uh, find some oil. Usually oil. Uh, uh, shows up in deserts a lot. Not seen anything on the mini map so far, though. Except for more ice over here, ice and snow. Hey, look, it's a desert temple. How about that? I think we've got some time to explore a desert temple, right? You bet we do. It's buried. That's nice. I'm gonna need some. Uh, gonna need some torches here. I think. Okay, let's go in. That's a pig. Scared me for a second there. Let's dig our way in here. Hope that nobody else lives here. Oh, it's a snowy, snowy part right here. Yeah, this is technically a taiga biome we're in right now. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh, there's some oil on the mini-map. I see it just now. Let's see if this uh, desert temple has anything interesting for us here. This could be an interesting way to start our... Uh... Ooh, scary noises. Hi. Start our uh, lunar quest here. I want to get the TNT too, because TNT might be useful. Who knows? In case I decide to blow up the moon. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. Actually, I might. I'm evil. Uh, bones actually would be useful. Let's get some bones. Useful at least for now. Hey, some gold. I'll take that. Shiny ingot. Ooh, some armor. Yes, please. I'll take that armor right now. Thank you. And rotten flesh. Not useful at all. Okay, okay. Pretty good. Pretty good haul. I'm going to take this chest. Take a couple, couple chests here, I think. Now, I'll take a couple of these chests here, because those are free chests. Let's uh, back our way back up here. Oh, that's right, it's got the autofill. I love it, how it fills your inventory uh, when you deplete a certain item. Very good. Very good. Uh, let's go back out here. Let's go uh, set a waypoint. Let's take a look at this. Uh, take a look at this oil over here. That's the wrong direction, Discord. Here it is. This is some oil right here. It's a little bit of it, not a lot. But we'll put a waypoint here anyway. Waypoint, add oil. 
So yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be a process, guys. It's gonna be a process to get all this stuff right here. And uh it's gonna be fun, I think. It's gonna be pretty fun. I was recording or I was monitoring how long I was recording for, but uh I kind of uh stopped paying attention a little bit ago and didn't restart my uh didn't restart my little uh timer, so I'm just kinda kinda free winging it now. Free winging, is that a word? It might be a word, I don't know. Anyway, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a little temp shelter here in the sand. But I think we're going to build right over in this area here. Maybe, you know, in this little jungly peninsula there. I think that might work. Oh, what's this? What have we here? Something I can't mine. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I think right over here to the left is where I'm going to set up uh, set up my first official base. Uh, let me go ahead and put down the bed, which I made. There's a the bed for sleeping. It's not nighttime yet. Clear a little, with a little bit of the sand away, I suppose, while I'm waiting for night to fall. So we can take a sleepy sleep. There we go. Beautiful. The moon coming up into view there. Lovely. We'll be going there someday. Uh, let me set up a little temp house here, guys. I will be back with you momentarily once I have sent up my little temporary shack. So I'll see you guys when I'm done with that. All right, guys. Welcome back. Uh, it's not much. Not much to look at, but it's a temporary home. Got ourselves set up a little bit here. Got to name this place, though. There we go. This is the Minecraft Aeronautics and Space Administration. Temporary headquarters. <laughs> there we go. Massa. Massa is what we are. M-A-S-A. -A. So I've got a lot of work ahead of me, guys. Um, next time you see me, I'm probably going to be having built something over here on this island or this little north of jungle right there. I'll have a farm. I'll probably have animals for food. I'll have all sorts of supplies, hopefully. And we can get our adventure towards getting to the moon started. So thank you all so much for watching. I very much appreciate it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, you want to see more, leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me that you liked it. It'll uh, make me want to make even more of these episodes for you guys. Uh, but for now, uh, that's going to do it for today. Thank you again for watching. And I'll see you next time. Take it easy. Bye-bye.